A red light camera has drivers seeing red. They are getting tickets, even though the police department's own video seems to suggest they didn't run the red light or break the law. Investigative reporter Heidi Hemmett has the story you'll see only on Fox 31 Denver. <laughs> It has drivers seeing red. They must be issuing thousands and thousands of tickets here. The red light cameras at 36th in Quebec catching drivers in a flash. Oh, God, I was so angry. Andrew Haynes received four back-to-back -back tickets after making a right turn on red. But the Denver Police Department's own video seems to prove he didn't break the law. Watch as Andrew pulls up in the red car on the right of your screen. He stops, then turns right on red. Watch again. He stops, then turns right on red. It's a right turn on red. I think as long as you're coming to a complete stop and then make the turn, you're good to go. We showed the video to criminal defense attorney and former police officer Gary Perosco. Right there, he stopped. He says Andrew didn't do anything wrong. It didn't appear to me that this person violated the law. And just in case you're thinking Andrew didn't stop long enough, Perosco says the law only requires a complete stop and does not specify a certain amount of time. It doesn't say how long you have to stop. It just says you have to stop, which could be for a split second. And when we turned our cameras on that red light camera, we watched as a car turning right on red blew through the intersection without the camera flashing while the car right behind it stops and gets the flash. Uh, I feel like they're fleecing the average guy. The Denver Police Department oversees the photo red light program. DPD would not agree to an on-camera interview. But after viewing the video, a Denver Police Department spokesperson told us off-camera that the people who are being cited for going right at this light are not stopping behind the stop bar. He says they're either stopping on it or in front of it. And that's why they're getting tickets. But if you look at the video that's supposed to validate Andrew's citation, it looks like he is behind the stop bar. A still picture of the citation is even more clear. Obviously, if they're going to continue giving tickets like this, it has nothing to do with public safety. Perasco says the Denver Police Department is supposed to sign off on every ticket issued by Photo Red Light to make sure it's valid. Whoever's in charge, if this ticket went out, should have been called in by their supervisor and said, why did this ticket go out? Still, Perasco says, ultimately, it's up to Colorado drivers to put a stop to the unjust tickets. He says without public pressure, the city has no incentive to do anything about it because the red light cameras bring in too much green. The city is never going to give this up. If you have received a photo red light ticket that you feel is unjust, Perosco encourages you to take it to court. That's what Andrew Haynes did, and the judge dismissed two of his four tickets and reduced the fine on the other two. Of course, it cost him two hours of his day. Denver's photo radar program generated more than $744,000 last year. In Denver, Heidi Hemmett, Fox 31 Denver. Do you think innocent drivers are ticketed because of those red light cameras? People are sounding off on our Facebook page. Lopez Iris says, yes, they are. I've seen those cameras flash for no reason, and when there is someone running a red light, they don't even flash. Connie posted, my husband got a ticket in Greenwood Village after he turned right on a red. And Elizabeth posted, I've seen them go off when people have a green light. What do you think about these lights? Post your opinion on our Facebook page.